क्या लग रहा है मार्केट आर वीक आर डेली प्रोग्राम ऑन निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी एंड डॉलर वॉट डू वी डू हियर वी एनलाइज द मार्केट निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी डॉलर एंड देन वी लुक एट द चार्ट वी लुक एट दी ओपन इंटरेस्ट डेटा वी लुक एट एफ आई डी आई डेटा एंड वी ट्राई टू फॉर्म एन इनफॉर्म ओपिनियन ऑन वॉट द मार्केट इज लाइकली टू डू दिस वीक एंड uh tomorrow and what strategies can we apply what reactions can we do etc before we proceed further i'll just wait for a sound check so i figured out last time the sound went bad because my battery i mean my laptop went into a power save mode and it was very weird so if any of you are watching this if you could confirm a sound check it will be very nice and i can be assured that things are working fine um three viewers so far so no comments uh, hi kanishk kanishk you are the first person to comment In two thousand and twenty-three, Satya is saying sound is okay. Vinay is saying the same is good. Hey, thanks guys. So let's get started, right? Vinay Dijan, happy to see you, man. Happy New Year, all good. Uh, I, I really love that name, right? Vinay Dijan. Like takes a lot of conviction to call oneself Dijan. Yeah, I would have done that when I was twenty-five years old, but not. <laughs> so so anyway, let me share the screen, which is the more important part, and reduce my face and etc. 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 so the first thing the most important thing is the nifty chart so yash is saying happy new year divya is saying happy new year happy new year happy new year happy new year to everyone i hope we don't uh, make the mistakes we did last year and you know uh, take things forward this year in a much better way so the first thing we have to bring to your attention is the nifty weekly chart right so it's an interesting chart because there is a swing high which was a previous all time high uh, Uh, previous uh, swing high at around eighteen thousand one hundred and eighteen thousand one hundred as a support. We also know that this channel has been into play for some time. It looked like the channel was broken, but now it is back into the channel. That's one way of looking at it. Also, it took resistance from uh, eighteen two hundred and thirty odd levels to eighty odd levels, which is the hundred day fifty day moving average. So weekly chart, interesting juncture. if it breaks below this we are toasted uh, and market will go down if it is going to go back into the channel then we can see further upside at least till this 18400 18500 zone right so that's nifty weekly chart now let's also look at nifty uh, sorry month daily chart now let's also look at nifty weekly chart this is super interesting weekly chart is a bullish harami with decent volumes so this is a reversal signal technically technically right but where it all confuses me is a monthly chart because monthly chart looks like a bearish engulfing but it has taken a lot of rejection from the previous bullish engulfing which is here so it's a little confusing nifty chart because daily says that it is a make or break level weekly says that it is a reversal monthly says that it is a a uh, bearish engulfing although rejection from previous bullish engulfing so it is in conflict so just to be doubly sure we'll also look at nifty futures right let me look at the comments so nifty monthly is not a bearish engulfing it is a bearish piercing on futures on weeklies it is a very nice bullish harami on daily Uh, that's interesting right because as per nifty futures chart daily is kind of still in the channel right so a uh, conflict let's not split hairs over here because it's like a little bit here and there channel can be drawn anything can happen what we need is decisive price action so nifty has fair amount of confusion in the channel uh, in the charts right but bank nifty is where things look better for me bank nifty daily chart is above all the moving averages which is 200 150 and it is still holding the uh, uh, previous bullish engulfing candle which was formed uh, on thursday session right this is a good sign if you look at weekly uh, this is a reversal signal which is a bullish engulfing uh, uh, sorry bullish uh, harami and finally if you look at monthly chart of bank nifty also this is not a bearish signal this is a uh, this is a doji you could even call it a dragonfly doji with a lower reject rejection wick than an upper rejection wick so this is a bigger rejection so this is strong so nifty bank nifty is technically stronger than nifty at least chart wise so because we don't have a clear clear insight from chart let's look for more data right so my my chart verdict is that i'm confused because nifty is pulled back from 15 50 dma crucial support 
Weekly candle is bullish Harami. Monthly is bearish and bluffing. Bank Nifty is looking stronger. Weekly candle is piercing on Harami. Monthly candle is doji. Little bit of confusion. Now let's look at open interest chart, right? Now, uh, open interest chart, current weekly. Uh, sorry. So this I was looking at the uh, previous uh, week. Uh, so one thing you can notice straight away is that lot of calls, right? This is a crazy call buildup which happened on... Um, Friday uh, because 18200, 300, 400, 500, 600, everything saw put writing, sorry, call writing. Even if you look at the overall index, 18200 is a huge resistance, and uh, this is kind of split uh, between. Uh, I mean, basically, if you look at all the sub resistances here, there are all resistances, there's no support at all. So, no support below 18200 lots of resistance oh 18200 this is bearish pcr is 0 0.7 neutral bear, bearish bias actually okay. now let's go to the last part of our analysis which is fida data which is where everything clearly becomes bearish look at this right 50k calls 1.65 L puts, 3x puts as calls, which is very bearish. FI sold 49,000 calls and bought 90,000 puts, which is again super bearish. FI sold 1300 crore sell, which is bearish. FI stock data 3,000 crore sell bearish. Uh, so basically, our verdict is still to wait and watch the channel, but the bias is definitely bearish because. Why is bearish? Because uh, OI and FIA, right? Because OI is negative, FIA is negative. The only thing which is even marginally positive is the confusion of the chart. So chart is 50-50, it could even be bearish. Uh, FIA is clearly bearish. Uh, option chain is bearish. So I suspect this is going to be, I I won't take a, trade till I'm sure about the uh, bias where, where I mean where it goes but it looks like we might correct from here if the channel breaks right so let me just quickly look at the chats kindly close the pop on the bottom left oh yeah correct sorry uh, where is like bank nifty intraday future data do you think bank nifty will carry nifty back to bullish Chinma is saying, will Bank Nifty carry Nifty to bullish? That is a possibility, right? But my problem is this, right? If I were to ignore charts, this is a sure shot shorting, right? Like basically, if you imagine that there are no charts to look at today, there is no way you can be long here. You have to be short because open interest is super, super negative. FIA is as negative as I've ever seen. So both of them are looking bad. In fact, I have some spreads. I don't think I should be holding on to it. So Fintech Digen, my favorite commenter, is saying that we are most likely to visit the lowest made in December. And if it breaks, then we are looking for bigger downside up to 17k levels, sell on rise. Fintech Digen, I am very, very, you know, in agreement with what you are saying, except that I really don't want to jump into it without the channel really breaking. So I'll tell you why I'm saying this, right? We have had instances where channels broke and the the fake out, I mean, I, I'm very afraid of the fake out because if you look at last week, they, it got back into the channel. I mean, why did it get back into the channel and then only to break back? So I, I'm a little, so if you could let me know, I mean, you are on Twitter, you have my DM. Why do you think the channel is not holding? I'm more than happy to listen to that. Uh, like ideally, right? If what you were saying is correct, right? I would have guessed the channel uh, action would have happened like this. It would have broken this channel and instead of going back and doing this circus, uh, Nifty would have just corrected right from here, right? My problem is, why did it go back to this level? There's no channel here, right? The channel is clearly this channel. My problem is it has gone back to this level. Uh, so, like basically there was a clear reversal here. There was a 100 EMA support here. Then it got back into channel. There was again a rejection here. This, this what you're seeing here, right? This uh, Thursday's candle of a uh, bullish uh, inverted hammer. Basically, these are questioning my, these are basically making me question really is Nifty bearish. So, like, 
if these did not exist ex exist and if it had just stayed below the channel i would have been wholeheartedly short my only problem is why did it do all this circus if it had just it was just just a matter of correcting from here it could have corrected even here right without getting back in the channel so that is where my seed of doubt is coming from um, so he is saying channels are imaginary mm -hmm. i mean okay <laughs> okay okay uh, pankaj is saying how about rejection of 50 sma that's a fair point pankaj even i am a little uh, uh, on that uh, uh, intraday predator is saying uh, i like the fact that you don't insist people like any any you are like karna hai to like karo yaar i i i mean let me put it this way right a like dislike and all is okay but uh, you know if you know people and you can also bring them to watch this channel like you know every time i meet a girl at the bar i ask them ki uh, uh, what are you doing tonight they say you know i have a boyfriend i say okay so then bring him also to our channel watch the stream <laughs> <laughs> so so if you know people who might be wanting to watch this thing please <laughs> refer them also uh, so uh oh just with sharma say kal yolo puts nahi possible i had some um, uh, i have some spreads which are bullish in nature maybe tomorrow morning i have to uh, uh square them off and get out uh But I'm a little uh, conflicted there. Arjun is asking us to add apps or add options simulator. Yeah, very possible we are adding that. Uh, <clears throat> so, so yeah. Oh, one more thing which I thought I'll do from this year, new year, new format. I'm experimenting some more things. Is we have to be aware of the events calendar, and that's very simple. You can go to sensible, go to anal trade, and sorry, you can go to analyze and look at stock market calendar, and you'll see all the <laughs> global events. There is an important event coming on fifth January. Uh, 12:30 a.m., which is Thursday morning in India time, which is FOMC minutes will be released. Other than that, it's all chiller chiller events. You don't have to care about any of this. Non-farm payrolls in US is coming on 6th Jan. That you have to be a little cautious of. But the mother of all, mother be nee. It's like a kind of decent event is FOMC minutes. So this is a free feature. Please feel free to use this, refer it, etc., etc. There's also a FNDO stock result calendar, but they are all uh, far away. Um, no, okay. Uh, sorry. So. yeah so this also it might be interesting to use uh, but global events the most important one is fomc minutes you have to be careful about that also right finally going to usd inr usd inr is a tricky tricky thing so like i said earlier right i am looking for 80 to 90 to break i'm not seeing it breaking i i i have a doubt that if nifty is able to hold the channel we'll see a very bullish upward movement if that is the case then so basically right my hypothesis is if it is able to hold that 18100 mark and go up then dollar might also be able to correct a little bit at least probably another 70 paisa or something towards the downside so with that in mind i'm a little biased towards uh, dollar negative also dollar weekly candle is dogeing it out uh, dollar monthly candle is of course very bullish because it is an engulfing bearish followed by an engulfing bullish but that said the stop loss of an engulfing bearish is always the top of that channel top of that candle which is somewhere around 82 80 on spot which is still not breached right so yeah i mean um, let's see if 80 to 90 uh, 80 on spot breaches then dollar will go up nifty will go down all of that will happen uh, but then we'll wait and watch rather than jump into a prediction game right so uh, this is our analysis for today a budget is coming uh, amit we'll uh, add budget when it comes so this is our uh, uh, analysis for today jan first first uh, uh, one for the year we'll see you again tomorrow as usual you know uh, this is not uh, advice or recommendation or anything please do your own research please do your own risk management and please trade only if you find a good opportunity uh, so on that note i'll take your leave thank you so much people for watching um, and uh, best of luck for the coming year great have a great week trading take care and keep your capital